Hi and welcome to this week's Wine Buff video and this week I'm going to put myself to the test. If you have a quick look around the shop you'll notice that we do have a substantial amount of wine and uh, whenever I have customers in I do remind them that I've tried every single one of them and at a rough count there I counted that we have uh, 135 different wines so as I say I'd like to put myself to the test so what we're going to do this week is we're going to do a blind tasting um, my wife has picked out two wines from the shop completely at random and I do not know what these wines are um, and just to get confirmation from our independent adjudicator Ugh. Olivia? Olivia's locked the door Can you confirm that the wine was chosen independently? Yes, it was There we go So, anyway now that we've confirmed that it's independent, we shall go and uh, test my taste buds. Just while I'm setting up here, it's important to note that this isn't massively important. The most important thing about wine is uh, actually finding out what you like and don't like. Um, this is just a bit of me playing about because uh, people always want to know, do I really know what I'm talking about? So this is me kind of sticking my neck on the line. So this is the red. There's my first point for getting the colour right. Um, and this is, I assume, the white. So I will use my taste buds to see if I can pick out what these wines are, where they're from, the grape variety, and the name of the producer. So, uh, fingers crossed, here we go. Traditionally, we start with the white, so we'll give that a pop. First thing we do is look at the colour, and when we look at this colour, it's actually quite dark. It's quite a dark um, grape variety. So I would uh, I'd start thinking of eliminating things like Sauvignon Blanc and Riesling because they tend to be a, bit, a little bit lighter. So uh, that's the first instinct. Next thing we do is have a wee sniff on the wine itself. It's quite a quite a, a full a, a sort of full smell on the nose. Quite floral. First estimates are that this is maybe a could be a Gewurztraminer or it could be a, could be a Viognier. It's got low acidity, which makes me think it's a Viognier, or it could be a Chardonnay from a warmer climate because uh, it tends to reduce the acidity. So it's between the Viognier from, uh, I'd say, Mont Montmartel in Southern Rhone or a Novi Chardonnay. So I'm going to go for Montmartel Viognier. So that's the white, and here's the red. Again, looking at the colour, there's not much of a giveaway. Uh, it's a fairly dark colour, it's not the lightest, so I can say it's definitely not a Pinot Noir because it's a very light colour. It's not got the most huge sort of nose on it, so it's not got a huge amount of aromas. Very light. A lot of tannins, so the tannins are the thing that dries out your, your mouth. Very, very drying. So I'm thinking it's a <coughs> it's a Bordeaux, Cabernet Merlot blend. And the producer 
I would go for uh, Chateau Pelin Bellevue. So in summary, the white, I think it's a Viognier, and I think it's Montmartel. And the red, I think it's a Bordeaux, Merlot and Cabernet, and I think it's Chateau Pelin Bellevue. So here we go with the Grand Unveil. Oh no, come on. The red first, I was correct, it is a Bordeaux, it is a Merlot and Cabernet, but it's Chateau Guibeau, um, which is uh, from the same area that the Pelin Bellevue is, so uh, I got two out of the three right, so pat in the back. And then the white. Drumroll. Ah. Uh. I got this one wrong. This is, uh, I did say it was between a Viognier and a Chardonnay. This is a, a Chardonnay from Italy. So it's, it's, um, it's, I did say that it would be potentially a Chardonnay from a warmer climate because it has less acidity. And this is from Italy, so it's a warmer cli climate. It does have less acidity than most other whites. So I confused it with a Viognier. So um, it's a bit of a tricky one Olivia gave me this one. Um, but uh, I got it wrong in this instance. So it shows that even the best can get it wrong. Um, as I say, it's not the most important thing to get these things right. The most important thing is to try and taste and as many wines as you can to find the one that you really want. Um, and, uh, and keep trying loads of different wines. A um, couple of events coming up. Um, we have a Rhone promotion on at the moment, which uh, have we've cut all the price of all the Rhone wines for all of September. And with each uh, purchase, you get uh, the opportunity to go into a draw for six bottles of wine. And secondly, we have uh, a food and wine line food and wine night lined up for the 24th of September which is uh, two weeks tomorrow uh, 50 euros in Bastille and uh, it's uh, five courses and five wines so uh, it promises to be a good night but do get your name in quick if you're interested because it will sell out pretty quickly and uh, until next week cheers <laughs>